Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you the three methods I mostly use to cover Alice band with fabric. In this video I will also show you how I attach elastic band to them for extra hold. Here are the materials needed for the first method. Okay, first is to get a paper. I'm using a cardboard paper, but you can use any paper of your choice. Okay, for the size, just make sure that it can accommodate your Alice band with excesses. Okay, you can see. Then, it can also wrap around a big tissue roll. Okay, you can see it. So, I'll be wrapping it around tissue roll, a big one. Then I will pin it. Okay, you can see. Next, I will get the Alice band, and I will. You can see I will place it on top of the paper that is wrapped around the tissue roll. Okay. I'll just push it in well. Okay. Next, I'll be using my marker to trace the Alice band. Okay. Just hold on to your Alice band and gently use a marker to trace it on the paper. Okay, I'm done tracing it. Next, I can remove my paper. Okay, next, I'll be trimming it out with a scissors. Okay, this is it after trimming it out. Okay, next, I'll be folding my paper cut out in half and I'll be marking the middle. Okay, I have done that. This is the middle. Okay, next, from the middle mark, okay, I'll measure three inches to one side and I'll be marking it. Okay, this is the mark. I'll write open. I'll be leaving it open. You will see it later. Okay, next, I'll get my fabric. Okay, and I'll fold it in half. And I'll be placing the paper on top of it. You can see. Then next, I'll pin them together. This is it. Next, I'll be tracing out the paper with a chalk on my fabric, okay? So, I'll trace it out. Just hold on to it and gently trace it out. So, this is it. Next, I will be marking the same mark. I will give the same mark, the same mark at the middle here. Okay, so I will see where to sew. And the same mark at the 3 inches mark. You can see. I will give it. Okay, so next, you can remove the paper. Okay. I will still hold the fabric with pins. So this is it. You can see the mark. So next, I'll take to my sewing machine and I'll sew. Okay, I'll just sew from this mark. I'll stop around here and I'll come over to this side. I'll sew straight and I'll stop around here. Come to this mark too and I'll stop around here. Just don't sew this place, the three inches mark and the two curves at the edges, okay? I'll be sewing directly on the short mark, okay? So I'll take my sewing machine and I'll sew. This is it. After sewing, you can see I did not sew the two curves part and I left here open. Okay. So next, 
I'll be trimming out this, okay? So take note of the chalk mark. After the chalk mark, I'll leave out quarter of an inch before cutting. Okay, so I'll trim it. This is it. Okay, next, I'll be keeping this paper well. Okay, it will be serving as a pattern in case I have another project that I want to cover this size of Alice band with a fabric. Okay, next is to cut out my elastic band. I'll be using seven inches. So this is seven inches. I will cut it out. So next, I'll be inserting a safety pin. You can see the way I inserted it. Next, through the opening, I'll be passing it through to this end, okay? You can see I'll drag it out. So I'll place it at the middle and I'll hold with pin to keep it in place. You can see. So next, you can see the way I placed my pin. So next, I'll take my sewing machine and I'll be sewing the curve, okay, with the elastic. You can see I brought a quarter of an inch of the elastic, okay. So I'll sew the curve. When it gets to where the elastic band is, I'll sew it multiple times. Okay, this is it. After sewing one part of the elastic band, okay, I'll remove, I'll remove the pin. Okay? I'll be repeating the same thing that I did on the other side. So I'll bring out the elastic band. I will insert my safety pin and I will pass it through inside, okay? Okay, I will just repeat the same thing that I did on the other side. So I will take to my sewing machine, I will close up the curve and I will sew multiple times on the part that has the elastic band, okay? Okay, this is it after sewing. Okay, next I will trim it more. Okay, I will trim it a little bit more. Just closer to the stitches. When you get to the open part, you be careful so that you don't trim more than necessary. Okay, you can see it when I'm done. So next, I will be turning it inside out. I'll just pull out the elastic band. Okay, this is it. Okay, next is to insert the Alice band, okay? I'll insert it to the longer part, you can see. To the longer part, I'll insert it about two inches okay then i'll insert the other part that's the shorter part can you see can you see what i'm doing So this is it. Next, I'll try and shift the sewn part to one side. The sewn part should be on the sides of the Alice band. So I'll shift my fabric so that it will fit. Next, I'll be closing up the opening by making an invisible stitch. I'll thread my needle. Okay, so I'll place it well. The pass to sew is already folded. You can see the way I placed it. So I'll just follow that line. So first, I'll pass my needle and thread to one side of it. 
you can see i'll follow that folded part i'll bring out my needle you can see on one side then i'll come over to the other side i won't be passing it on that will just you can see just watch what i'm doing at the top through the folding I'll pick small, you can see what I did. I'll come back to the other side. I'll pick it again. About quarter of an inch. Okay, you can see. I'll come back to the other side. That's how I'll continue do doing. Okay, you can see the way my thread is going, like a ladder. Okay, if I sew for some time, I will pull, I will pull them, you can see. You can see the thread is not visible, okay. So I'll continue like that till I get to the end. Okay. When I get to the end, I'll be knotting it. Okay, so I'll just pass my... You can see what I did. I don't know. Two, three. Okay, when I knot it, I'll now pass it on that. You can see what I did. You can see where my needle is coming out from, okay? I'll now pull out my needle. So I'll pull it so that the knotted part will go inside, eh? Then I'll cut it out. I'll pull my thread. And I'll cut out. You can see, the thread is not visible. Okay, this is it. For the second method, these are the materials needed. Okay, next is to cut out your fabric. Okay, so what I have here is three and a half inches. You can see three and a half inches by 30 inches. I have them in two places. So next, let's say this is the right side. I will, I will place it like this, right side facing each other. I'll take to my sewing machine and I'll be sewing quarter of an inch from here to here. I'll repeat the same thing here. This is it after sewing quarter of an inch. Next, I'll be turning them inside out. I'll be using a safety pin. Okay, I'll repeat the same thing here. You can iron it after sewing. Okay, next, I will measure and cut out the elastic. I'll measure 8 inches and I'll cut it out. Then, I'll set aside. Okay, next is to start wrapping the Alice band. Okay, so I'll get one of the strip. Okay. So, you can see the way I placed it. I'll be bringing out half an inch at the top, and I'll be bringing out half an inch by the side, you can see. Then I'll apply glue here. On the Alice band. Okay, I'll wait a little. Then... I'll fold in the half inch that I brought out. If you're working with a glue stick, a candle gum, it will be faster. So for this, you need a little bit of patience. When it has glued, next is to attach the elastic band. I'll thread my needle first. 
Then I will place three quarter of the elastic band from one edge of the Alice band. You can see what I'm doing. Then I will sew them together. You can see I'm stitching the extra three quarter that came out to the Alice band. When I'm done, I will knot it. Okay. The remaining extra parts you can just glue it okay but don't glue it up to the edge because you don't want the glue to show so just the other part you can just glue it but not necessary so i'll just okay when it has glued you can see you can see it next okay i'll be gluing the half inch that i brought out at the side okay so i'll apply glue on the alice band under then i'll fold it in a slant you can see in a slant just like triangle and i'll hold on to it to glue when it has glued then the remaining parts i'll just glue it straight okay so i will apply my glue okay you can see the way i place the elastic I see the way I slanted it in next one. I'll wrap it tightly, you can see. Okay, for this first part, okay, for the first part, I'll pass the middle a little bit, okay? Okay, so for this first part, I'll be stopping under. I'll just use my eyes to get it, okay? So the next part will be covering it, so no need to fold in the edges, okay? So I'll just cut it out. I'll just leave out extra half an inch, extra three quarter of an inch. I'll just leave out extra three quarter of an inch and I'll cut it out, okay? Then I'll apply my, I'll apply the glue on the excess. You can see where I'm applying the glue. Okay. Then I'll glue. I'll hold on to it till it sticks. If you have peg, you can just use peg to hold it. Next is to work on the other side. I'll repeat the same thing that I did on this side here. When I've glued the half inch. I'll place the elastic like this. You can see the way I placed it. Make sure it's flat. Okay, you can see it. I'll be taking it three quarter of an inch like I did before. Then I'll sew it. I'll sew the quarter of an inch part like I did before to so the Alice band.
Or if you have a business label, just finish it on that. Then use your business label and cover it up. For me, I don't have a business level, so anytime I'm using this method, I will target where my design will be and I will finish it up there. Then I will use my design to cover it up. Okay, you can just use glue and wrap it. You use your design to cover it. For the third method, these are the materials needed to make it. Firstly, I will come to the widest part of the Alice band, okay? And I'll measure the circumference. I'll measure it round. Okay, for this, I have two inches. This is the widest part. So I'll be cutting out two inches by... The length of this is 14 and a half inches. So I'll be adding one inch, one inch on both sides. That means I'll be cutting out 16 and a half inches. So I'll be cutting out two inches by 16 and a half inches. This is it. This is my two inches by 16 and a half inches. Okay. Next, I'll be ironing my feasible interfacing to read. Okay. The shiny part of the feasible interfacing should be facing the wrong side of my fabric. So I'll place like this and I'll iron them together. Okay. This is it. After ironing the feasible interfacing to my fabric, Next, I will fold in half like this, and I will fold it again like this, you can see. I will hold with pin. Next, you can see this is the folded part. I will come to this part. This part is open. So, I will mark one inch allowance that we added. Next, I'll come to this folded part. I'll measure and mark two inches. Okay, this is the two inches. Next, I'll come to my Alice band. I'll come to this edge here. I'll wrap it around to get the measurement. I have around one inch, okay? I have one inch, so I'll come to the top here. Since this is on fold, I'll be marking half an inch, okay? So I'll mark half an inch. Okay, this is it. I'll be slanting this half an inch to meet up with this, with this two inches mark. Okay, on the allowance line, I'll also be marking half inch. Okay? Okay, this is it. So I'll be using scissors, I'll cut here out. This is it. Okay, next is to glue it to my Alice band, okay? Okay, next, because it takes time for my glue to stick, so I will first apply glue just towards the edge, up to half of my Alice band, just on one side, okay? Then I will allow it to cool so that it can glue, okay? Then I will place it at the middle. You can see, you can see I placed it at the one inch mark at the middle. So I'll place it at the middle and start folding in the edge. As you go forward, ensure that it's placed at the middle. Okay. Apply glue to the remaining parts. I'll continue like that, okay, till I get to the end.
Okay, next is to apply on the other side. Then I'll start pulling. I'll pull it tightly and fold in. I'll continue like that till I get to the end. I'll also apply glue on the sides of the allowance and fold them in. Okay, you can see the way I folded it. Okay, so from where the Alice band stopped, I'll measure half an inch and I'll cut out the extra part. Okay, this is it. Next, I'll apply glue and I'll fold it in. Just at half an inch, okay, on both sides. Okay, I'll fold it in tightly. Okay, I'll see. I'll put the same thing here. So this is it. Next is to cut, measure, and cut out the elastic band. I'll be using 8 inches, so I'll measure and cut out 8 inches. Okay, so next, I'll be taking in 3 quarter of an inch. You can see this extra quarter of an inch after the half inch fold here. Okay, that's the place I'll be sewing to my Alice band. Okay. I'll be repeating the same thing on this side. You can see the way I place them. So I'll sew with my needle and thread for extra hold. Okay, I'll also glue here. Okay, as you apply, don't apply it up to the edge, just inside. Don't allow it to get to this edge. I'll just apply. Then I'll glue. Okay, I'll be repeating the same thing on the other side. This is it. Next is to use my trimming to cover up the under part, you can see. So first, I'll apply glue on the trimming and I'll twist it. You can see what I'm doing. After that, I'll fold it in and glue it. You can see what I'm doing. can see I'll apply glue on the side that I folded in then I will use it to cover up the under part quarter of an inch from the edge okay I'll continue till I get to the end I'll fold in the trimming and glue it to the Alice band and that will be all. Okay, this is it. You can see. 
this is the first you can see this is the second and this is the third thank you for viewing